Hello, welcome on Focus. I'm here with Rick Rams as always. Rick, thanks for coming in. Thank you. So I know it may not seem like it outside, but we are getting into summer with the hot temperatures and the sun. And um, tell us a little bit about, I know dogs and cats or whatever kind of animals in cars. Tell us what, as a, as a citizen, that I could do. And then tell us maybe when they should call you guys. Yeah, whenever you find an animal in a car and it um, obviously is either closed up or it's hot out, uh, the temperatures in the car can raise uh, quite fast. And that's unsafe for humans. It's obviously unsafe for animals. So we recommend in those situations, if you see a dog or cat or other animal locked in a car um, with the windows you know, up um, and the car not running, we would say call us right away. Um, depending on our response time, which is usually, I mean, we set that as a priority, but if there's other things going on, we might not be able to get there as fast as you may think that we, you would like us to. Uh, so um, what we would do is we would go there, we would try to get a hold of the owner, and um, if necessary, if the, if, the, um, if the animal was in distress, we would, and the vehicle was locked, we um, would most likely break a window to, um, to render aid to the animal. Um, in your situation, if, uh, if we're not getting there, if, if a significant amount of time, maybe five, ten minutes passes and we're not getting there, and you can tell the animal's in distress, um, you could break the window um, to render aid to the animal and not be held liable criminally for, for that based on um, the need to um, render aid to that animal. So. Um, it is kind of a gray area. Uh, there's obviously, you know, what is what is an animal in distress? Is it, you know, obviously if it's having a seizure or some sort of medical emergency, that's obvious distress. Mere panting, um, that's probably debatable as to whether or not that's significant enough to justify breaking a window. Um, but first and foremost, call us so that we can assess the situation. In most areas of the city, we're probably less than three minutes away. So. We'll get there as soon as we can, definitely. So do people call ordinance or can they call the police department? I guess who, who would kind of respond to that? You would call 911 and most likely a um, if the animal was in distress, anybody would show up. But if it was, um, if it was a, it's a 75 degree day out, the windows are cracked a little bit, but the dog is panting, most likely ordinance would respond to that. If the windows are totally rolled up, the animal is um, maybe unresponsive and um, it's maybe an 80 or 85 degree day out, um, we'd probably respond. Um, either police officers or ordinance would respond in those situations. And um, I mean, that that's considered neglectful on behalf of the owner and if the a animal um, sustains any injury or death, I mean, they could be held criminally liable for that. Well, there you have it, guys. Maybe you could try to leave your dogs at home in the summertime and they don't need to come with you everywhere. If you're just going to a festival for, you might think you're going to a festival for 10 minutes and then, but in 10 minutes that heat can get super, I mean that car can get super hot and just, I know like even me, like 65 degree day and you have the windows cracked and you're just sitting in the sun, it gets hot fast. All right, there you have it guys. The best option is to leave your dogs at home.